<laughs> okay, let's do this thing. Hello, my name is Amy Naylor. Um, if you saw my last tutorial video, you learned how to do the three finger roll. I like to call it a wave because it's kind of like a waving back and forth across the drum. And it sounded like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thumb, four finger, middle finger, four finger, and so on. You'll notice that we're counting in four for that. Um, but now we're going to take it in the next step further and we're going to make it more difficult just for the sake of it because it's fun. So we don't always have to count in four. You know, we can count in three or five or six or whatever. So for instance, if we wanted to do this in three, all we would do is take away the final beat that we were playing originally. So instead of four, one, two, three, four, we're going to take away that last one with our four fingers. Um, and we're just going to go straight back to thumb. One, two, three, thumb, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so a single one looks like this. And then instead of bringing in the usual part here, we just go straight back to the beginning. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's three. If, for instance, we wanted to play in five, what we could do is add an extra, um, add an extra thumb. So we'll just play here again after after we've played here on the four. So one, two, three, four, five. And when we put those together, we'll have a double double part here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. But we're still maintaining that kind of flow, that wave, that back and forth motion. Um, no matter how many beats we play. So, because that's a thing that we can do, naturally, to make it more complicated, um, I decided that I wanted to count all the way through from 1 to 8 and see what would happen. So I'm going to try and teach you that now. don't really know how it's going to work. I'm just going to demonstrate it and um, try and break it up for you, and hopefully you can follow along as best you can. So 1 is dead easy. 1. Yeah, it's just the thumb. 1. 2. Again, we're just breaking up our four beat pattern now, so this is still really simple. One, two. Or if we wanted to practice with one hand, one, two. Three, we've done already. One, two, three. Four, we've done already. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the new ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight is just two fourths essentially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And we can also go backwards from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Once you practice that with your left hand, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Practice with both at the same time. Again, I'm still maintaining that nice kind of back and forth wave flow. Always using the same um, fingers corresponding with the, with the space that I'm playing. Thumb, fourth finger, middle. That never changes depending on you know where I am. Um, so that's fairly easy doing it that way. It's broken up. But the fun part is putting those together without the space. Yes, yeah, so you're counting straight the way through. So it'll look like this. One, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, 
is counting straight the way through. You can also go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one. And once you've got the hang of that with both your right and your left hand, playing them both at the same time, then the fun part comes. And then we start to split the two hands up. So that'll look a little bit like this. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. down one two three four five six seven one two three four five six one two three four five one two three four one two three one two one and once you've got the hang of that the trick then is to start practicing with as little movement as possible so you've got that intention of the wave you've still got that flow going on in your in your whole body but we're kind of just bringing that intention, honing it in to just our fingers. So we keep it nice and low, nice and relaxed, and then you can go as fast or as slow as you like. And that's kind of a really good kind of brain game to get your, not only are you getting your fingers practiced, practicing that right and left dexterity and your dexterity between all three of these, but it's also like a bit of a mind warp, you know, because you've got to do that counting, that back and forth, and it's constantly shifting that time signature. So it's just a fun little exercise to keep yourself um, keep yourself kind of, you know, on the ball with that kind of thing. So as we start to speed it up, it'll look a little bit like this. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. fun little game that I like to practice um, and that is level two of the three finger wave as we're calling it now. Side note you don't even need a hand pan to practice this one um, so long as you've got your hands and any surface uh, including <laughs> including dogs um, then you can practice this one literally anywhere. So, while we're here, hello, little cheeky plug, um, I'm teaching handpan classes every Sunday, 7pm um, UK time, it's super chill, we play music, we play beats that we can all hear, and then I teach a rhythm, a groove, a melody um, that slowly gets more and more complicated over time, and then we kind of have a back and forth call and response and we learn it together. Nothing like what we just did here, but a little bit more like the way that I taught the role at first in the last video. So you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, and then at the end of the session we just hang out, have a chat, um, share our stories, meet each other, or reconnect with each other, and, and it's just a really nice, chill time. So if you want to come along to that, you are more than welcome, the more the merrier, that would be awesome. Drop me an email, amynailermusic at gmail.com and uh, it's between five or fifteen pounds depending on what you can afford that's entirely up to your discretion and um, yeah it'd be really great to see you there cool happy practicing